hello guys uh, so welcome in today's video so in today's video we are going to look how we can perform a one-way ANOVA using a starter so remember that uh, ANOVA is used to compare um, the means of more than uh, two groups so if you have three groups and above you are going to, if you are comparing the mean of three groups and above you are going to use a uh, uh, ANOVA so let's begin so in this tutorial we are going to use example of data set that comes with starter so click example click file go to example data sets and then click starter 16 manual data set and then click base reference manual so the data that we are going to use is historic.dta so let me click use so remember that if you are not connected uh, to the internet you cannot access the, this data make sure that uh, your computer is of uh, internet access so let me browse this data so that you can see the information that we have so we have drug and this drug has four groups so we have drug one drug two drug three and drug four we have disease and we have uh, uh, increment in systolic uh, blood pressure so in this uh from this data you can see that we have three drugs uh, we have four drugs that are being administered and we are going we are measuring the increment in systolic blood pressure okay so from here we can measure uh, we can compare the mean uh, increment in systolic blood pressure of uh, these four groups and these four drugs so let's see how we can perform that so to perform one way and over to compare the mean increment of uh, blood pressure of uh, these four drug groups so click statistics summary tables uh, sorry click statistics linear models and related then go to ANOVA MANOVA and then we are going to test a simple one way ANOVA so click one way ANOVA so our response variable is our uh, independent variable that is systolic and our factor variable is that our categorical variable or, uh, which is also our dependent variable I mean independent variable okay so it is drug so our response variable is our dep dependent variable our factor variable which is a categorical variable is our uh, independent variable so let me click submit so we are clicking submit so that we don't lose this window here okay so let's see our results so we have remember uh, this one is the command we have one way systolic drug so if you type that one and here in the command bar you are going to get the same results so we have a source, source of variation we have between groups and within groups we have some of square degrees of freedom okay so we have our f statistics 9.01 and a p-value of 0 0.001 so from here we can see the p-value of our f statistics is uh, statistically significant because it is less than 0 0.05 at 5% if we use a 5% significance level so what does this mean this being uh, less than 0 0.05 means that we are going to uh, reject our null hypothesis and have it uh, that uh, at least one of the means is uh, different from the others okay remember that uh, if your p value if, you, if your p-value is less than 0 0.05 you are going to reject your null hypothesis that is if you are using a five percent significance level okay so this means that uh, the mean increment of uh, systolic blood pressure blood pressure of uh, the four drug group four drug groups are different or at least one is different from the others so also down here we have the Bartlett test for equal variance so uh, with a p-value of 0 0.8 so this is a good thing meaning that uh, we have our assumption of equal variance is not violated so our, our data has equal variance okay so let's go back to our window I can click uh, under output I can click produce summary tables let me submit so I have not clicked OK so that I don't lose this window so if I if I check that uh, produce uh, additional statistics I'm going to get this table so we have the first drug we have its mean standard deviation and frequency of the second drug its mean standard deviation and frequency 
and the total mean and the standard deviation and frequency and then uh, we have analysis of variance table here down here uh, remember that it's give the same our uh, p value fp value is 0 0.01 if it is it is less than 0 0.5 0 0.05 meaning that we are going to reject our null hypothesis and uh, have it that at least one mean increment of systolic blood pressure of uh, these four drug groups differ okay oh uh, let me go back to this uh window so also we can check uh multiple comparison we can perform a multiple mat multiple comparison test so let me check this benforoni and then let me click submit so if you check that one uh, remember the command is now will be one systolic drug comma benforic benfer benferoni tabulate so we have these two tables here so remember the one we giving us a, giving us additional statistics the one with ANOVA so remember we have said that uh, because our FP value is less than 0 0.05 we are going to reject the null hypothesis and have that at least one mean is different from the other so if we have if we check the this box here checking this box here is going to give us we are going to come to perform a multiple comparison test so that we can know which mean differs or uh, which mean yeah which mean differs so from here we have the row mean and the column mean so this means that the mean of uh, drug 2 the mean increment in systolic blood pressure of blood 2 of drug 2 minus the mean increment systolic blood pressure of drug 1 uh, give us 0, 0.0 0 0.533 and this difference has a p-value of 1.00 meaning that uh, this uh, this this difference is not statistically significant if you go here down to this the second row we have a mean increment mean increment in systolic blood pressure of drug 3 minus the mean increment of systolic blood pressure of drug two of drug one sorry is equals to negative 17.3137 and the p value of that difference is 0 0.001 so this one is less than 0 0.05 so meaning that this difference is historic drug is, is statistically significant so we have it that the mean the mean uh, increment of systolic blood pressure of uh, drug 3 and uh, mean increment in systolic blood pressure of drug 1 are not the same because the difference is not equals to 0. Okay. Also, the mean increment in systolic blood pressure of drug 3 minus the mean incre increment of systolic blood pressure of drug 2 has a difference of negative 16.733 and the uh, uh, the p value of this difference is 0 0.01 so meaning that uh, it is the difference is statistically significant because our p value here is less than 0 0.05 so that is it also down here if we come here the main the main increment systolic blood pressure of drug 4 minus the main inc main increment systolic blood pressure of drug uh, 1 give us a difference of negative 12.5667 so this difference is statistically significant because we have the p-value to be less than 0 0.05 also this difference is st statistically significant because the p-value is less than 0 0.05 or oh, this difference the difference uh, mean increment the difference of mean increment in systolic blood pressure of drug 4 minus the mean increment of in systolic blood pressure of uh, drug 3 give us this difference of 4.75 so this difference is not statistically significant so that is how we perform a one-way ANOVA and also conduct a mul multiple comparison tests okay so that is it so if you found this video useful please click the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more content adios